So this is a <clears throat> review of OB. Uh, there we go. I'm just trying to get, I guess there isn't a glare on it. So it's a pretty common beer in Korea. I just picked it up at a normal grocery store on my way home from work. It's OB. Um, it says OB Lager. OB Lager. In Korean, sounds more like OB <clears throat> Lager. Lager. Laga, laga, something like that. That's a uh, 4.6% alcohol by volume. <clears throat> Beer, it's a uh, 16, no, oh, 16. It's a uh, 1.6 liter. Says OB since 1952. Original, oh, sorry. Oriental Brewery, Oriental Brewery Company. Original beer, 100% malted beer. Well, it says 100% malt beer, sorry. And I've had this before. I haven't had it for a while. And this isn't my favorite kind of beer, but it's not bad for the price. It's a really cheap beer. If you're in Korea, you might as well buy the Korean beer because it's Korea. And for one thing, it's way cheaper. They <clears throat> tax the imported beer like crazy in Korea, partly just to encourage people to drink the Korean beer and to keep more money in the country because if you're drinking Korean beer, you're spending money on Korean beer and you're making, uh, you're helping <clears throat> the Korean, company, uh, Korean economy more than buying beer from overseas and helping other companies, obviously. This is my glass that my friend from South Africa gave me, Castle. It's a pretty cool glass. I guess I could have shown you before I put the beer in there. Um, <clears throat> I'd say if I had to compare it to an American beer. Maybe like Keystone, something like that. <clears throat> Keystone, Coors, around there. I mean, it's not a bad beer. Like on a hot day, that beer is really nice. If you have it really cold, obviously, then it's not a big deal. It's not the best quality beer in the world. It's normal alcohol percentage, 4.5%, 4.6%, sorry. It's normal as in, if it's any lower than that, like any lower than 4.5%, it's really low. But I, honestly, most of the beer that I drink is way higher than 4.5%. That That is really low. But you know what I mean? Like on average, <clears throat> light beers in the United States and Korea are usually around 4.5% 4, 4 or around 5%. I mean, there's beer in Korea. Korea, that's 7%, but that's really not very common. I only had maybe two like that so far. I mean, of the beer that you can buy at a grocery store or convenience store. In the U.S., you can buy 6 to 8% beer, no problem, if you're at a bar or a microbrewery or something like that. But obviously, convenience store, grocery store, liquor store, that's different. See, I'm gonna enjoy this OB. It's a nice beer for drink drinking while you're eating chicken. And I have a big thing of some really spicy chicken here. Some really spicy fried chicken. Enough for today and tomorrow. And um, yeah, it's a beer that I can see drinking with chicken. Sam Gapsal, which is uh, pork belly, uh, like barbecue pork belly. Um, <clears throat> stuff like that, like drink it with barbecue or some kind of dish like that. Um, it's a beer that is pretty safe for everyone to drink because it's not really hoppy. It's not really bitter. I mean, 
I mean, it has a little bitterness flavor to it. Like it says on the label, actually, it's more malty than hoppy. <clears throat> and of light beers, I'd give it an average score, like 5 out of 10. It's not really cheap beer like Red Dog. I mean, I've drank quite a bit of Red Dog in the past when I was in the U.S. I mean, <clears throat> in Wisconsin, you, could, you at least used to be able to buy a Red Dog, like a 30-pack of Red Dog for $9. A 30-pack for $9. 30-pack of 12-ounce cans for $9. That's crazy. And that was just a few years ago. <coughs> it's not like I'm talking about 10, 20 years ago. Just a few years ago. $9 for a 30-pack. I don't know. That's crazy. Here, you don't see 30-packs as often. I don't know if I've ever seen a 30-pack of anything. You can buy cans in, like, 12-packs and 6-packs, and you can buy bottles in 4-packs and 6-packs. You can buy bottles in bigger uh, cardboard cases. Maybe those are, like, 12 or 24-packs, something like that. Um, yeah, OB is a Korean beer that's easy to find. It's cheap. This was, like... Three dollars for a one point was it one point six? Yeah, one point six liter, and so three dollars for that. That's a lot of beer for three dollars, especially compared to going to the bar. I mean, this one glass is like three dollars. Oh well, it, with OB at a cream bar, it might be. Um, well, this this much beer, like this height, could be about two dollars. Going up to here. It could be about three dollars. This is a five hundred milliliter glass, so it's a little bit bigger than some. But yeah, if you have any other beers you want me to test out, give a review on, or just try and see if I make a weird face or if I make a really happy face or whatever, just let me know. I do like higher alcohol beers. Even if the flavor is not as good, sometimes I do like the higher alcohol beer more, depending upon the situation. If it's a hot summer day, then no, I don't need a beer that's higher alcohol. I'd rather have one that tastes really good. I do like really hoppy beer. I like really bitter beer. I like dark beer. I like beers where there's an extreme in one specific way, for the most part. Um, and then I also like the beers that are well rounded and a little bit a little bitter, a little hoppy, and a little bit darker. Usually if it's hoppy and bitter, it's usually not really dark. But uh yeah I mean I like I like coffee and chocolate beers and I like Guinness. But I'd say my favorite is IPAs. Usually my favorite is IPAs and I like the fruitier IPAs in general. Especially if I just want to sip on it, enjoy the flavor, and relax. I'd like a high alcohol, rich, fruity beer. Some of the beers that are fruity are kind of watered down. <clears throat> I don't like that as much, but it's not bad. I just don't like it as much. So yeah, let me know if there's anything you want me to try. And uh, <clears throat> I do recommend buying OB, especially if you're trying to get something cheap, simple, something that everyone will be able to drink. I'm not going to say everyone's going to like it, but everyone should be able to drink it. It's not really high alcohol content. It's not really hoppy. It's not really bitter. It's a light beer that's... It's not bland or anything like that, but it's easy to drink. Okay. Have a good night.